Sweden is in a bit of a situation right now uh, when it comes to the state of the, the state. But there is a lot of back and forth going on, discussions going on about who should be in power and forming a government and yada yada yada. And I'm gonna explain the entire story. And uh, I'm gonna start actually back in the last election, 2018, because those things are very relevant there. So 2018, we had an election and uh, no like pre-established bloc had enough votes to form a government, right? So the Social Democrats, the Green Party and the Left Party didn't have enough. Neither did the moderates and the Christian Democrats and the center of the liberal. They didn't have enough votes either. So you, you were kind of kind of a bit of a, a conundrum where you weren't really able to do much uh, for the moment when it comes to forming a government. So what ended up happening was that the center party delivered a series of points or suggestions or not suggestions, actually, like, like criteria to the social Democrats for things they would have to do for the center party to uh, support a government made up of the Social Democrats, the Center Party, then the Green Party with support from the left. And uh, there were a lot of points on this, uh, fairly like right-wing, uh, you like agenda, because the Center is a right-wing party. And um, one of those points was the institution of market rent. So basically, the rolling back of certain rental protections or rent capping uh, regulations and systems we have in place in Sweden for the moment. And from that very moment, in 2018, the left said that, no, as soon as you attempt to pass that part, that point, it was like that point and like maybe one or two others that they were like, we are not letting this through. As soon as you try to pass that point, we are going to vote to collapse the government. We will not tolerate this, the, the market rent policy being passed. And they put a strong foot forward there. And yeah, and then you move forward, they formed the government. And then only a few weeks ago, I think two weeks ago at most, the uh, the central party and the social democrats are like okay time to do the the market the the market rents and the left party for the first time in so 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 many years didn't just bow down to the social democrats and actually stuck to their principles and stuck to actually having somewhat left wing ideals and keep in mind the ideals of the left party are by no means insane or far left or anything the platform of the left wing party today was literally the social democrats 20 years ago we have seen such a massive just direct 90 degree turn to the right here in sweden and it's reflected in the policy positions of all the parties so yeah you know the left party finally put the foot down and said no we will not be allowing this of course then getting the the critique from most notably the center party being like oh come on we can't just let this pass i can't believe you're doing this yada 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 um, but then a lot of people especially people that are disaffected with the general political system in sweden which there are a lot of those people, uh, were like, yes, good. Finally, we have somebody standing up to the Social Democrats and actually standing for a politics they believe in. And there was support from those from the right as well that supported the left-wing decision to actually put a foot down. And uh, and yeah, the, 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 the left party put a foot down. And what ended up happening is that Stefan Levin, the, uh, the, you know, was at least the prime minister, uh, spoiler alert, um, got removed from office. And so did the government then as well. This lovely chap here, Stefa, Stefan Schäbel, uh, Levin, you know. Um, so he, he wasn't allowed to be in the government anymore, and they basically leaked them out. After that, what ended up happening was that the center party was like, okay, maybe we can compromise on the market, you know, on the market rents thing. Maybe we don't need that. So like, oh, cool. Looks like they're actually doing some, some cool stuff. But then they were like, oh, by the way, we also refuse to work with the Sweden Democrats and the left party. What's the point of going back on that thing if you're just gonna exclude the party that demanded it? You don't have enough votes. There aren't enough votes for you to be able to form a government without the assistance of the left party, right? That's not possible. Additionally, putting even the, the left party and the Sweden Democrats on even the same like scale when it comes to how bad they are, is just, it's just, it's literally insane. There was a grand total of zero analysis in regards to what the actual positions of these parties were in regards to excluding them from a potential government. It was literally just like, oh uh, yes, most right Sweden Democrats, most left, left party. There you go. They are all the same, you know, actually enlightened centrism, right? And because of that, they wouldn't be able to form back a government with the center, the Green Party, the Social Democrat and the left. Uh, which the left said that they've been open to. They said we're 100% open to having Stefan Levin back as prime minister and reforming the government we had previously, as long as you don't do market rents. 
Um, but the center party didn't want that anymore because now they just don't want to work with the left party uh, anymore. And that's sort of the, the conundrum that exists right now. So what's happening now is that the sort of person in charge for Swedish, for like the Swedish parliament is giving all the different types of all the different like party leaders, uh, depending on how likely they are to actually form a government, an opportunity to form a government. Right now, today, uh, Tuesday, the 29th of June, they gave the opportunity to the right wing moderate parties, uh, Ul 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 Olof? Ulf Kristesson, Jesus Christ, Ulf Kristesson of the moderate party to form a government. And that's where we're at right now. And then they're going to give the reins to other people and see if we can form a government. If you're unable to form a government, uh, then there's going to be an extra election before the already planned election in 2022. Um, but yeah, this period of time might might take a long time. Um, we were in this exact situation right after the 2018 election, and that took nine months to resolve. So we might be in here for a while. That's the situation. That's what's happened. Now, what does this mean? Well, left party. Good. Good job to the left party. Good job to Nushi Dagosar, the leader of the left party, okay? Because for the first time, the left party actually put their foot down and said, no, we will not go further to the right. We will not compromise more on our political beliefs. We are putting a foot down and strongly saying no. And that's something that has been desperately needed in Sweden because we have just slid farther and farther and farther to the right when it comes to, you know, at least economic policy for the last couple of decades. So that, that's the first part. Good job on them. Uh, number two, it's benefiting the left party a lot in the opinion polls. I think they went up like 1.8% as of the most recent polls, which is it's quite a significant improvement, actually, um, which is pretty good as well. Uh, in addition to that, uh, yeah, because of what the praise they've gotten, they've gone up in opinions, obviously. Uh, it's also, it's, it's far enough away from the election so that everyone's like, oh, they just did it because the election's coming up. Uh, so that doesn't like discredit what they did. But it's not, you know, sort of, yeah, and it's not close enough to the election that people think, oh, it's just it's just for the the election. So it's like in a perfect middle ground where uh, where you know it's actually uh, people aren't just going to say that oh you just did this because you know elections coming up and you want favorable opinions. It's long enough away from the election to the point where people aren't just going to accuse them for doing what they did because of it's going to make them look good politically, but it's also close enough to the point where even if the right wing would be able to form a government right now, they would have extremely limited amounts of time in order to actually get anything passed before the next election. So it's not like they're sacrificing the potential passing of right wing policies in order to obtain, you know, some like political points in the opinions, in the opinion analyses, I suppose that's how you say it. Uh, so, you know, good job on that. Yeah, they gained 1.8 of the support of the Swedish population. Yeah, of course. It's a 1.8% like total increase, not 1.8% of what they had previously. It's a, it's a very substantial in in increase. So yeah, left party, good job. We've gone far too far to the right. We need to put our foot down and actually start pushing for left-wing policies, actual social democratic policies, actual policies that the social democrat party would have held for 20 years ago. To the center party, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, okay? Not working with the left party uh, the math just doesn't work. You're not going to be able to form a government in the way that things stand for the minute. It's it's extremely, extremely unlikely. It's hurting you so much in the, the, the polls as well, the actions that you're taking currency, uh, currently, and even putting the left party and the Sweden Democrats in the same ballpark as, you know, when in regards to, like, political or, like, how radical their politics is, is, is actually insane. And it is just, it is in every sense of the word an enlightened centrist virtue signal. And I don't use those words very often. I don't call things that very often, but in this situation, it absolutely 100% is. Not very good, center party. At the end of the day, that's the situation we're in. That's a bit of analysis I've done uh, on the, the events that have uh, that have occurred. And I'll be following up on news in case something remarkable happens when it comes to the formation of a new government, uh, who's going to be part of it, or if there might be an extra election. I'm just generally keeping track of the situation. But yeah. Good job, left party. Good job on putting your phone, uh, your foot down on the topic. And uh, center party, what the fuck are you doing?